Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Jennifer Scrapping Cane. Today I'm sharing a design team layout for Spiegel Mom Scraps. At any time, if you want to pick up sequins, you can use my code Jennifer15 and save 15%. Today's sketch is by Ginger's Corner and I'm going to be using the left hand side only. Um, this will be a single page layout. It's a landscape layout, so it's 11 by 8.5. And I'm going to use the sequin mix called Beautiful. And I absolutely love it because it's purple. And I'm going to use the entire pack. Uh, when I get done, there's nothing left. Uh, <laughs> it ends up in one large shaker. That's what I'm going to create today. Um, here I'm just showing you some of the rub-ons that I have left. I've been using this collection a lot, so I don't have a whole lot left. But I still feel like I have a lot left but not very many. Um, all, most all of these pumpkins are going to make it on the layout, and that's kind of cool if you ask me. I was able to get um, pretty much all of them. I think I have three or four left, including one of the clusters of three, um, but I'm going to try to get that on one more layout before I'm done at the end of the month. And here I'm showing you some 6 by 8 papers, um, most of these papers do not make it on the layout at all. I end up not using any of the pattern papers. I go with the wood grain instead. Um, and that wood grain is the one that I absolutely loved. It has the cream wood grain on the other side. And I really wanted to use these scraps up instead of throwing them away. So that's what I did. And not sure where I disappeared to, but, um, oh, there I am. Oh. I was just turning off the camera and <laughs> getting started on the layout. I used my circle cutter to cut out a circle right in the middle. And I'm going to place the acetate down on the back side of it. So I'm using uh, double sided tape from Spiegel Mom Scraps. She does sell double sided tape. She also sells uh, Big Mama foam tape, which I'm going to show here in a few minutes. Um, or more towards the end, I guess, when I get started on uh, putting the shaker together. But I use her foam tape also, and my code does work for a discount on that also. And that's also available in the shop. So here, it kind of sped it up, but I guess not really. Um, <laughs> I'm just placing down the strips across so that I can lay the acetate down. And then get started on putting the rub-ons on. And the rub-ons do go on the acetate. And they rub on beautifully. No issues at all with the rub-ons going on the acetate. I thought it might be an issue. Um, so I was crossing my fingers and hoping that it was going to work. As I got started on this layout. Because I wasn't sure. I've never put rub-ons on acetate before. So I wasn't sure if it would work or not. Um, but it works perfectly. So, um, yes, you can create a shaker and put rub-ons on top of it. So here I'm just creating the border, which is going to go around the layout. It's about one-fourth of an inch. Yeah, it's about one-fourth of an inch all the way around. So I'm going to do that first, and that's just so that I don't go and forget that I did it. Because um, <laughs> I've been knowing to do that before. And it'll be too short or too small when it gets done. But I have that done. I'm just snipping the corners um, at an angle, basically corner to corner, and making it look more like a frame. So it looks like it has a wood grain frame around the layout. And I think that turns out pretty cute. So I'm just going all the way around, doing all four corners. Sorry, I'm a little bit off screen. I didn't realize I wasn't in the screen doing that. Um, you saw that last one, but anyways, I'm going to mat my photo and I'm just going to mat it on, um, a piece of the paper that I cut off, obviously, since taking it down to eight and a half by 11, it leaves me like three inches or so of paper. And that's usually enough to mat my photos. So, um, since it was like a white color, it's kind of a grayish white. Um, I went ahead and just used it as my photo mat instead of white cardstock. And then I'm going to place it on this wood grain piece. 
and that's how my photo is going to be matted just on these two layers here and he's just standing in front of a little photo op place that they had at the pumpkin patch with all the pumpkins and i just think it's an adorable photo of him he has the biggest little smile on his face and he was happy to take pictures for me as long as i let him play and do the other stuff too which he got to do so he was very happy that day and here i'm going to start placing down the pumpkins and i'm going to start at the bottom and then work my way around and that kind of mimics uh ginger's layout she in the sketch she has hearts going around in a circle so instead of hearts i'm gonna do pumpkins um not gonna do you know just pumpkin on pumpkin i'm gonna add in leaves so that's what i'm adding in here these are little rub on leaves that were i had um i showed at the beginning sorry stumbling over my words getting a little late at night trying to get this voiceover done and I'm trying to add in um, some green, but mainly sticking with the orange and purple. And again, that's to play up his purple shirt, which you can see. And then the background for the shaker is also like a light lavender color, but it, you know, it matches his shirt. So, and anytime I can use purple, I'm going to use purple. Luckily, he was very happy to wear this purple shirt for me, and I didn't have to bribe him or anything. Um, now, I would probably have to bribe him if I wanted him to wear that shirt. But luckily, back then, he just wore it for me because I asked him to. <laughs> but anyways, this one here, I wanted the purple leaf to be below, um, behind the pumpkin rub-on. And I almost put the pumpkin down first. So I caught myself. So now I'm having to hold the rub on of the pumpkin up and put the leaf down at the same time. And I do mess up the pumpkin rub on, but I'll fix it by cutting up another little pumpkin and filling in the part that I messed up. Um, right there, you can see a little bit, the little hole that's in the pumpkin. It's missing its orange. But I will fix that by cutting up this little pumpkin here. So I sacrificed another little pumpkin to cover that up. And that's the only way I knew how to fix it. But it worked. Um, the rub-ons, when you rub them over each other, you do have to press a little bit harder than you do uh, normally. So just so you're aware if you're going to layer up the rub-ons you definitely have to press a little bit more to get the rub-ons to layer over each other i'm going to go over here and put this one down i've kind of finished the right hand side um all the way to the top and then i was seeing what pumpkins i had left and what sizes i had left so i wanted to kind of use the same colors on the right and the left so that's why I went ahead and started doing the left hand side. And luckily I had two big purple ones and two big green ones and the little brownish yellow orange colored ones too. So it kind of worked out perfectly. And I'm going to add this little pumpkin here. It looks like it's sitting kind of at the top of the picture frame. Um, they do kind of look like they're floating around, I guess, the ones on the side. But in the end, I really liked the way that it turned out. I wasn't sure how it would turn out. Like, I tried to place the pumpkins, you know, with the, before I rubbed them on. But um, in my head, I saw it, but I couldn't figure out how it was going to actually look. But I really do like the end result. And I'm glad I used all the pumpkins on one layout. <laughs> I didn't use all of them, I guess. I still have, like I said, I still have like four pumpkins. But I did use a ton of pumpkins and a ton of rub-ons on this layout also. But it's okay because, you know, I would rather see my products in the layouts and in my albums than just in my stash. So here I just keep adding on rub-ons and I believe I'm going to get started. Yeah, this is my little tiny title at the bottom. And it just says amazing. Um, the black word says amazing. And then 
I'm going to put one more rub on down that says harvest of happiness. So it says amazing harvest of happiness. And again, his big smile in the photo, I thought was kind of a cute title. And he's standing by pumpkins. So it works. And then I'm going to put this orange butterfly up here. I wasn't sure if I was going to add anything down to the right hand corner. I end up not adding anything down there, but I keep looking at it even now and kind of think that it needs something down there, but I'm not sure what to put down there. I might end up putting just a little bit of journaling down there. Um, but as of right now, I don't know what would go down there. This rub on here, I cut just the top part of it off and used it on the layout since it was too big to actually use the whole thing. And that one is more blue than purple, but it matches his coat. And then at the top, I also put today autumn. Um, and that was again, just to use up some more rub ons basically because today autumn doesn't really make sense, but I guess it kind of goes with the photo since it is autumn, <laughs> but I don't know. I just placed it up there. I liked the color and it added a little something up there at the top of the photo. So here you saw me. Um, I haven't done it yet. Actually, I traced around the back paper so that I knew where to place this. Uh, this is the big mama foam tape. And I'm just going around the layout and making sure that all of it, wherever I don't want sequence to be, has foam tape because um, the sequence will fall behind like the photo or, and nobody's going to see them. So I don't want them to be back there. So that's why I'm placing the foam tape all the way around. And then I put the little circle here and traced around it. And I'm going to glue some of the sequence down. I don't glue very many of them down. Um, the shaker actually ends up not being a very large shaker area. Um, so I didn't glue a whole lot of them down. I glued some of them down, um, once again, because when you put it in the album, all the sequins are going to fall towards the bottom or the side, I guess, because this one's a landscape layout, but either way, they're not going to be seen in the circle. So I definitely wanted to keep a few of them um, on the circle. And then I'm just putting all the sequins in here. I am taking out all of the greenish teal colored ones. And I could have left them in, but I really don't have that color in my layout. So I decided just to pick them out. I didn't have very many in my mix. Um, I had more purple pinks orange colors than I did that green color. So I just took them out. And then I kept um, a few sequins out. You can see over there in the little container that I keep my sequins in while I'm working with them. Um, I kept a few of the sequins out so that I could place them on the outside of the shaker around the pumpkins. So here I'm just putting it down and of course I did not place it correctly. Um, so it's actually um, off, but it's not completely off. The bottom lines up, so it's okay. I'm just going to add some washi tape around the edges just to make sure that it stays in place. Um, I think it'll stay in place just fine, but also, when I go to put it in the page protector, it might get caught since it's a different level. But so here I'm just gluing down sequence and just picking colors, putting them down, gluing them down. Um, the little bats, there's little tiny bats in there that I loved. I did pick out like five of those, I think, and I put a few at the top and a few around the sides where the pumpkins are. But Here's my little shaker. I absolutely love it. I love creating these large layouts with large shakers on them. Um, this might be my favorite thing to do with sequence. But anyways, you guys can use my code Jennifer15 and save 15%.
here's a few close-ups hope you guys enjoyed today's layout and ginger thanks for the layout idea i really enjoyed your sketch today and i should have another layout up tomorrow